Is this Tom King's assistant? Oh, pleased to be speaking to you. Is he there? He's not there. I'll just congratulate him. I mean, co-writing the new Gods movie with Ava. How amazing is that? But hang on. Is he actually writing it with Ava? Is it with, with or without Ava? Hello? Hello! Is this thing on? Welcome back to Big Mouth. And fancy seeing you here. And you are very welcome, my friends. And especially my enemies. And welcome to Thursday's edition of the DCEU Daily. And it's a massive one today. Breaking this morning, Tom King will co-write the new Gods movie with Ava Duv what is it? Duvernay. 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 But is he writing it with Duvernay? Will she last the course? I think not. We will talk about that. And we'll also talk about the rumour that DC and Warner Brothers are creating a Batman cinematic universe. And that the Joker movie that I've seen a test screening of, yes, me, is the prequel, is kind of the previs to this kind of cinematic universe. And it won't apparently be part of the DCEU. And that's another conversation to have. But where's my background gone already? That's not... Re How... Look, I've got to pause this. Sorry about this, but I've got to get my background. So, yes, I've got the article that broke last night about Tom King co-writing the New Gods movie with Ava Duvana... Duva Duverna... Whatever, right? Whatever, right? You know who I'm talking about, right? This broke on the wrap. And now... Um, let's see who wrote this. Oh, Alberto Gonzalez. So um, it probably won't be true. But anyway, we don't know. Um, he does come up with some true things sometimes. But anyway, right. Batman comic writer Tom King to co-write the new God screenplay with Ava DuVernay. Right. Now, exclusive. Everything's an exclusive to a hundred. And then a hundred people write the same thing. Then it's not an exclusive. Um, but actually, I follow Tom on Twitter. And Tom, for a while now, has been talking about some meetings about a film project. So um, I think this is probably true. Now, I still don't know if Ava DuVernay is going to direct this film. I still have my doubts. She still makes me nervous because the media treat Ava like she's, she's this movie-making god. She's literally done directed some TV stuff, right? And she's directed Wrinkle in Time, which was a flop. So this woman is very problematic and her bringing her on to New Gods was a political move by Warner Brothers. We all know that. But if she can't do the job, then, and, and this is what concerns me, I mean, New Gods has got to be a beautiful visual, visually, uh, it's got to be a beautiful visually feast, doesn't it? A visual feast, right? Where has she given the audiences this before? Zack Snyder would have been perfect to work with Tom King on this film because his style is so stunning and, you know, it's comic book. So she's definitely the wrong choice. And I think the people who chose her are not there anymore. They'll have to be careful how they remove her, but I think she will be removed because this is a film that could be so awesome, especially with Tom King being involved. Eisner Award winning comic book writer and ex-CIA officer Tom King who currently writes DC Comics' Batman, will co-write the new God screenplay with filmmaker Ava DuVernay. An individual with knowledge of the project exclusively told the rap, DuVernay was previously announced as the film's director. Created by legendary artist Jack Kirby, yeah, what a legend. In 1971, the new gods focuses on twin alien planets, the idyllic new genesis and the hellish apocalypse. Ruled by equally powerful but morally opposite leaders, New Genesis is ruled by benevolent High Father and Apocalypse by the uh, Despo Darkseid. The comics have depicted Darkseid's efforts to destabilise the fragile peace between the worlds as part of his scheme to eliminate free will from the universe. Darkseid is one of those, the most dangerous villains in the DC universe and a constant threat to the Justice League. King joins the project following his celebrated run writing DC's Mr. Miracle. Experience sure to come in handy on the new gods. Also created by Kirby, Mr. Miracle, a.k.a. Scott Free, is the son of the new Genesis. Subjected to years of torture and abuse by Darkseid's cruel henchwoman, Granny Goodness, Scott eventually rebelled with the help of Big Barda, an apocalypse soldier working to overthrow Darkseid. He escaped to Earth. 
Other characters and concepts that originated from New Gods include the villain Steppenwolf and wormhole computer hybrid mach machines called Mother Boxes, both of which were featured in 2017's Justice League. Yeah, we're not going to go there, are we? Whether or not Divinity's New Gods will be tied to DC's shared movie universe is not known. Um, King won a 2018 Eisner Award for Best Writer for his work on Mr. Miracle and Batman. He's amazing, basically. Look, he's a legend. He announced this month that he will be exiting Batman after issue 85. This was really sad news, of course. Earlier than previously expected, that set off concern among fans who hold his work on the series in high regard. King has used his time on the book to, to more closely examine Bruce Wayne and whether he can ever be happy. His most well-known storyline saw Bruce coming, becoming engaged to Selina Kyle. The problem is, with all the, you see, the thing is, I don't want to change the subject and get into what he's doing with Batman. Uh, the romance thing, and let's see, can, can Bruce Wayne be happy? I don't give a shit if Bruce Wayne can be happy. I want Bruce Wayne being awesome and being Batman, and that's it. Anyway, back to this. More recently, King's run has seen Batman trapped in a dream confronting his greatest fears and heartbreaks. Now, that's awesome. That definitely is awesome, and I like what Tom did there. King is rep by Angela Chen Kaplan. Divinay is rep by CEA Does sure. I don't care who they're rep by. Um, basically, this is what this article says. And I know I kind of read the whole thing, and it was kind of unrelated, but it's good to know about the New Gods universe, because I don't know much about it. So the more we learn, the more, well, the more we learn, the more we know. So it's very, look, it's, it's very, very, very interesting. Um... I'm excited by this, obviously, because he's a great comic book guy. But as I say, Duvernay is a big, big concern to me because she just doesn't have the claws, the chops, to do a project of this size, of this magnitude. New gods, you know, you've just read the concept about two worlds, one run, run by, you know, a good a good being and one run by Dark Side. Dark Side has to be in this movie. Granny Goodness has to be in this movie. Do you trust Ava DuVernay to direct a film with these iconic characters in it? I just feel they should have actually picked the director that can do the job. Now, I'm not saying I'm definitely 100% sure she can't do the job. And I hope if she does make the film, she does stay on the project, um, she does a great job. She needs to prove herself because she really hasn't done anything to start bragging about and getting big, you know, big gigs like this. So... I was shocked. Um, I've always expected her to walk away from this project. I still think she will walk away from this project. But it's very exciting. Tom King is co-writing the New Gods movie. Or is he writing the whole thing? I think he is. And I think we're going to get a new director. But we will find out. So there's been another rumour. Yeah, it's all about rumours because nobody confirms anything in the DCEU anymore. Things just float around like the good old days. But anyway, it's, it's good for videos like this, right? Anyway, and the rumour is that the DCEU and Walter Hamada want a Batman cinematic universe that will be unrelated to the DCEU. Now, this, of course, is very, very interesting. Does that mean the DCEU is not going to have a Batman anymore? Strange, right? So the rumour is that um, basically the Joker movie is the beginning of this universe and if you like, um, the Batman, the launch pad, and then the Batgirl, and then they'll they'll go from there. Um, I would absolutely love a Batman cinematic universe. He is big enough. You know, I think we should have a Green Lantern cinematic universe. I think we're pretty much already getting an Aquaman cinematic universe because they're already doing some other stuff with that franchise as well. And we've got the sequel to look forward to as well. So... I think from what they're doing with Aquaman, and you know, you look at the Flash and the Flash family, there's 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 a franchise there as well on its own. So probably going forward, we'll still call it the DCEU. We still call these videos the DCEU Daily. But I think this is what the plan is now: franchises within a franchise. So I absolutely believe that this is Walter, what Walter wants to do. And if the Joker movie is the first part of this Batman franchise, I'm very, very excited. This is very, very ambitious. And let me just say, there's a lot of rumours going on about Matt Reeves right now, that he's been sacked. Matt Reeves has not been sacked, right? And the person putting this rumour out is an absolute liar gagging for attention. He has not been sacked. 
He hasn't walked away. He may be sacked. He may walk away. Who knows in life? There's no absolutes. But from this moment in time, um, you can trust me on this, that Matt Reeves is still writing and directing the Batman. He's taken his time. It's taken a couple of years for him to execute everything. But he's got his fingers in a lot of pie. So he just hasn't been taking his time with this film. But even if he was, that would be fine with me. He's going to give us a great Batman. I mean, when you think about a murder mystery kind of a Batman movie, where all the rogues gallery are kind of the the people accused of the crime, how awesome is that? It's a great excuse to have the rogues in without people complaining about overcrowding. So, and Richard E. Grant um, rumoured as Alfred. How awesome would that be? Now, people say, oh, well, that can't be Jeremy Irons because, um, well, actually, why can't Richard E. Grant be a younger version of Jeremy Irons? Or... Maybe their ages are... I don't... Listen, I don't know. I think they're the same age. I, look, I don't have a clue. But it does look like, if this is going to be a cinematic universe, that um, this new Batman is not a younger version to Batfleck. He's a totally brand new Batman. And I welcome that. Now, about a year or so, Matt Reeves corrected us all and said that, uh, that his Batman movie would be part of the DC cinematic universe. So has something changed since then? Well, probably, who knows? Things are changing all the time. Don't forget, Matt Reeves was brought in by Jeff Johns. He wasn't, you know, Matt Reeves wasn't, you, you, Matt Reeves wasn't brought in by Walter Hamada. So I think there's a changing evolution. And I think because Matt really wants to do this film and because Walter Hamada has got these great ideas, and why wouldn't, why wouldn't Matt Reeves want to be involved in a development of a Batman cinematic universe? You'd have to, you know, imagine someone knocking on my door. Mick, can you do a Superman cinematic universe? You know how you guys know how much I love soups, right? I'd be going, yes, take my money now. Well, you wouldn't be taking my money. You'd be giving me money. Actually, I'd develop a Superman cinematic universe for free. Well, I've been doing that anyway, but no one's paying me for it. But I've read it out. I've read my first chapter to you, haven't I? Well, not the whole thing, but my concept. So um, anyway... Getting back to this, so I'm really excited. If all these things are true, like Tom King um, writing New Gods, and if we are actually getting a Batman cinematic universe, I am extremely happy. But I want to know, of course, what you think. This channel is about geeks, nerds, DC fans, and I want to know what you think about this. Is it good that Tom King is involved with New Gods? Does that make you feel a little bit more comfortable because I know a lot of you down in the comments when I've spoken about Ava DuVernay directing New Gods I think we're all nervous about it and we the decision has no logic to it whatsoever so I want to know what you think about that and the, this rumor about a Batman cinematic universe uh, what you think is this great are you happy or frustrated that potentially none of these films will be involved with the DCEU but basically, I think franchises within franchises, as I've already said, are the future of this franchise. And in all honesty, guys and girls and everyone else, that really excites me.